Well, guys, I did it. Did a little looking, did a little research my own, figured out what you would use the export Persona for inside of Affinity Photo. Now, this is definitely a different tool. I have not, I don't remember seeing this inside of Photoshop when I was using it. So let's, let's head on over. So this is the persona and I created this slice earlier. So let's, let's hold on. Let's just go here and we're going to uh, delete that slice. So in this example, and you can see this is the image of Sarah we've been working with the past couple videos. And so what I would want to do, let's say, you, okay, let's give this scenario. Okay. I'm going to give this photo to Sarah. I, I know she's going to put it on Facebook or Instagram or, or whatever, right? So instead of cropping to do, a, you know, like a 4-3 square or, you know, whatever, you know, adjust um, ratio, we can just export a slice of the image. It's really, really cool. So when you go over here to the persona, your slice tool is already, you know, selected. So let's say I want, uh, let's say I want that and we'll, you know, not cut off her elbow, have a little bit of her arm because yeah. Uh, let's just for the example, we'll do this. Okay. So over here, this, this is your default. You're having, you're on your layers, but if, when you create a slice, you come over here to slices, slice one, you can name this, whatever I'm going to name this Insta. If I could spell, because this is going to be like an, a preview for Instagram, right? This, that's the example. Now you can you can export all of the different slices that you have, which would be the full image and um, our little square right here. But then you have, and then you also have like different presets. I'm not going to really get into all this. Uh, we'll just do a si single PNG. That's fine. Um, we're just going to do a single PNG and then you can click export slices. So you do that and we're just going to make uh, one on my desktop here and we're going to export both slices. So it's going to ex export, if I could talk, export both of those slices to the desktop. And I'll, sh I'll show you that here pretty quick as soon as it gets done. Okay, so it is finished. So let's go here to my desktop. Let's get out of that. And you can see I've got both of these photos right here. So there's the slice. And then there's the full image. Y'all. Y'all. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. It's, that can be very, very, very powerful. It can be very beneficial depending on what you're needing. Like I said, in this instance, this example scenario, we're saying we're going to do an export for like a profile picture for Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. And we'll do a square, roughly a square image. And boom, you can just export it out. So anyways, I'm glad you guys stopped by. I hope you learned something. I know I did about this persona. Very powerful. Um, again, I think it'd be very handy to do different things, especially if you like you maybe you have three different images all in the same, you know, main image. So you could cut out different spots. So like you know those tile photos that you see in you know, on Instagram where like people will upload several tiles i'm going to call it a tile to make a one big mosaic when you go to their page like you could do that easily here you could export have your big image 
and then export them all out with a slice, and then boom, you're good to go. You just upload them. How cool is that? So anyways, again, I hope you guys learned something. I know I did. And see you guys next time. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Let's have a conversation down below. Is there something else I need to check out? Is there something I don't know that you think I need to know about this software? Yeah, let me know. Peace out, guys.